if you stop LeBron James, Stephen Curry, all the top players from all the team, Westbrook, Harden, if y'all just say, all right, we sit down until we get this shit in the NFL. Until the NFL shit straight out, we just going to hold it down. You know how strong we would look? We would actually show our power, but what? they'll probably take this goddamn video down. Because I'm saying some stupid shit, ain't it? This shit's stupid, ain't it? Because I'm asking niggas to come together and, and actually show the same way. It's, it's the same shit like how niggas said, take all your money out the bank at the same time. The same shit when niggas said, boycott Walmart on this day. Y'all niggas won't do this shit. And I have to think that it's because you don't want shit to change. I remember when I wasn't getting paid. I was living on some bullshit. Now I didn't get money every day. Hell, I'm trying to get some more shit. I'll never want to win some money. I'll never want to win some money. I'll never want to win some money. I'll never want to win some, some money. I remember when I wasn't getting paid. Welcome back to the Big Facts Podcast. I am Ayo Conseco, and this is Are You Serious? As in LeBron James. Uh, Stephen Curry, uh, fuck that, I'm not finna go down the list, every NBA star currently, I'm wondering why the fuck y'all are joining your brothers in this fight for equality, equality, um, you have every uh, chance to help niggas actually get something done seeing Donald Trump come down from the heavens you know what I'm saying and make a whole law this would seem like it would be something that the NFL commission does but of course we know that the NFL and, and these big business and, and team owners slave owners they have direct links to the president because all the the, the prison owners big tobacco alcohol um uh, hip hop fucking uh, owners, label owners and shit like that, these people are all in the same circle. Anything that, you know what I'm saying, is for the destruction of the black man or the black community, they are with this shit. They're all together. You know what I'm saying? And the, the, the way I, I would say that the NFL and the NBA is for the destruction of the black man um, when it seems like all they do is pay them is... I, that, that's deep. I'm not going to get into that shit. I, I, I don't want to, but maybe I should. I feel like what the NBA does as far as destroying black men is the way that they exhibit how much powerful they, like, they're showing the world that slavery is still alive and well. We had books like, um, $40 million slave and shit like that. When you have owners, uh, Donald Sterling, this wasn't an isolated event. Like, this this wasn't uh, something that, oh my God, this, this is, an, is an anomaly. That shit is run of the fucking meal. These motherfuckers, I don't know, they don't know shit about the fucking game. They sit back and watch niggas run. They see them as fucking animals. No fucking different than how it was back then. The fucking Mandingo fights. We saw this shit in um in Django uh, with uh, Leonardo DiCaprio's character, uh, fucking Candy, whatever. You know what I'm saying? With like they've always been entertained by us because physically we can do shit that they can't. That and and, and even more, even more so. I, I want to get to the you know what I'm saying because I got to do my promo shit. Like okay, look. Uh, I appreciate everybody who supports the show. I really do. But I'm on my grind right now. I'm really on some shit right fast. If you're donating, please continue to donate. I fuck with all of AO Nation, all my local artists. Make sure you go to the Facebook Messenger and not the Instagram. Um, because that's how the fuck I do it. I'm saying holler at me. We'll get your shit promoted and all the good shit like that. Please donate. Love, love, love. PayPal link in the description. What we... Right now would be a great time for us to show that we are more than just the fucking entertainment. We're more than just the goddamn help. White men up here drinking beer, ah, 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 having a great time. We down this whole sweating our life out. This shit means everything to us. This is no different than how the fuck they go to the horse track, 
the dog track. It's the same fucking thing. You can't compare us to the fucking, uh, the fucking, what sport is dominated by white folks? A physical sport. What physical sport is dominated by, I'm not finna get on that shit. Niggas, NBA niggas, why are you not helping the fucking NFL? We're trying to get something done. We're trying to get it to where, okay, we can, freedom of speech, this, this means everything to us. It means everything. Why in the fuck aren't you helping? You sit around and so like, they ain't not fight. Oh, that them, that them. Ain't that just like a nigga? When, when you don't, and see the whole, my shit is, don't help a nigga secretly. Like, cause niggas ain't really need money at this point in time. Niggas need support, visual support. If everybody, if all the niggas, cause we run all the sports. If all the niggas said, y'all niggas got enough money. Like, if you stop LeBron James, Stephen Curry, all the top players from all the team, Westbrook, Harden, if y'all just say, all right, we sit down until we get this shit in the NFL, until the NFL shit straighten out, we just gonna hold it down. You know how strong we would look? We would actually show our power, but what? They'll probably take this goddamn video down, because I'm saying some stupid shit, ain't it? This shit's stupid, ain't it? Because I'm asking niggas to come together and, and actually show the same way. It's, it's the same shit like how niggas said, take all your money out of the bank at the same time. The same shit when niggas said, boycott Walmart on this day. Y'all niggas won't do this shit. And I have to think that it's because you don't want shit to change. It's the same way when folks go on strike at a job because they want... Fairness. They want like those. They want the shit to change, and the only thing that brings change is change. You have to change what you do, and you may have to be telling the sheep said the shit. He said it may uh, for a revolution. You may have. You may uh, suffer a little inconvenience. You may be inconvenienced a little bit. You know what I'm saying like, but if you big players, it just say hold on. We we holding up for a minute. We gon we gonna chill out until we get this shit. Ain't ain't no disrespect, but we gonna hold up. We gonna just chill out. Right now, you know what I'm saying? During the final, that but that shit ain't gonna happen. But because this shit from be old with, I mean, so I guess this shit is stupid to say. Because I guess you know what I'm saying. I, niggas don't sign contracts until you know what I'm saying. We get the NFL shit straight. But I just feel like niggas should do this shit on their own for real. Why the fuck you niggas ain't help? What like how the fuck can a nigga in Daphne, Alabama think of this shit and y'all can't think of this shit? Why the fuck wouldn't the like every sport this this, this shit? The reason why. This whole shit started was because we was getting shot down in the street. You niggas claim that you care about that shit. When that nigga took the knee and we saw that he was getting flat, everybody should have sat the fuck down. Folks was hollering about everybody knee, everybody take a knee, everybody know what I'm saying. But now they saying that it's a crime to fucking kneel. A crime, going over the, going over the speed limit is a crime. That's why you get fined. Smoking marijuana in certain places is a crime. Um... But if you don't have over a certain amount, you won't go to jail. You get fined. It's illegal to do it, so you get fined for it. They're saying that it's illegal to not support a fucking flag that doesn't support us in the street in real life. That was Kaepernick saying, like, yeah, I'm up here. I'm getting paid. It's all love for me. But down there, where regular people are, like the people who love me, who idolize me, it's not all good. And I'm going to stand up for them the same way they stand up for me and pay all their money to come and sit in the fucking, you know what I'm saying, the bleachers and shit like that. I'm going to do it for them this one time. What in the fuck? Like, so you can't do it, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, we're, like you know that we're, like, you niggas play fucking sports. You know that a team is always going to win over one person. You know this shit. So why in the fuck wouldn't you say, I right, look. If they gonna call them the big guns, if they gonna call the number one races, we gonna call the number one player on all these teams and show that we are stronger than everybody. We can think. You can't just no. You can't scare us into doing what the fuck you want us to do because this isn't slavery anymore. We were enslaved because we were scared to leave for whatever fucking reason, whether it was a fear of getting beat or getting killed. That's why we didn't. Try to overrun the... I've said this shit plenty of times. That's why we didn't overrun the fucking plantation. It was out of fear. Because we we didn't think that we had any friends. We didn't think that we had any allies. But now we know that we have allies. We have the fucking... They, they're using social media against us. Let's use it against them one time. This is how we can connect. Everybody can connect now. So now what we do is say, All right, we ain't playing no more. We ain't playing. I'm sitting out if... The leader of every team said, 
Yeah, I'm saying now. Nah, it's all good. And let the white boys play. Let the white boys play and let's show that we actually have power and we have minds. We can think. Trump made this shit illegal. Niggas should have, right, fuck all this shit. Take niggas jersey off. You got enough fucking money. But see, that's how niggas do, though. Niggas a goddamn, you'll tell a nigga your whole problem. You know what I'm saying? You'll tell a nigga your whole issue, whatever like that, and a nigga will be in a position to help you. Man, that shit fucked up, bro. That shit crazy, dog. Yeah, I got to go on here and run, though, bro. I got to go on here and get to, you know what I'm saying, get to the Ferrari. The whole way on me. Yeah, I got to go on here and get out of here, bitch, home. Yeah, shit, you straight? Yeah, yeah, it's all good. Nah, I wasn't straight at you. Yeah, shit, I wish I could. Man, I'm fucked up, bro. You... Bro, you LeBron James. I'm, I'm, I'm asking you for $50, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I told you what happened. My whole life story. But like, you know what I'm saying? I'm not no peasant. I'm not no fucking homeless man. I got to go with it, bro. I got... Whoa, what the fuck? And this could be your people. Your people will do this to you. Like, you know what I'm saying? You'll tell this shit to your, to your sister, but for whatever reason... She won't know what I'm saying. She don't want to help him. If she do it, man, I swear to God, these niggas goddamn. I wish niggas a goddamn get their shit together. God damn. I ain't got my money. You gonna pay them back, ain't it? I ain't got no, I ain't got no money to be giving away. I gotta take care of me and my goddamn five, six kids. That's all I I don't don't get me started. Lord Jesus, don't get me started. I propose. That every black man with power at this time, at the height of racial tension, every black man with power shows that we all are seeing the same things and we all are feeling the same things. All of you NBA players, we see y'all on commercials reading the kids and, and doing all the kids shit, whatever like that. And me, I think that shit is all for the cameras. I don't think none of y'all live like that for real. I think y'all agent tell y'all where to go. Is it just like the PR people, public relation people tell you where to go, whatever like that, and you smile on camera and shoot the fucking basketball, but you don't give a fuck about nobody. They tell y'all what fucking charity to give to because it's a tax write-off, but you don't give a fuck about none of that shit for real. I believe if y'all gave a fuck about any fucking black person, then you all would have goddamn did the same thing at the same time that Kaepernick did. Why in the fuck is this goddamn mixed boy doing some shit that y'all won't do? And even if the fuck if it was a farce when he first did it, this shit is serious now. Now it means something. It's symbolic. Now it means something. Why wouldn't we, for any other reason, show that that fucking racist, white supremacist, orange face nigga don't run us? Everybody kneel. Everybody sit out. It ain't no sports without us. And you I, you know what I think will happen? I think these motherfuckers on the goddamn bench. I think you bench niggas is just waiting on the stars to do some shit like that so y'all can jump in the game. Niggas is like that, dog. See, a nigga, a nigga will have a plan all ready to go, whatever like that, and you'll have some niggas who just been plotting in the background just waiting on nigga to fall off. I wish that nigga would. Oh, God, I, I, I've been trying to be point guard for the last eight years. My nigga, if you've been on the bench for eight years and you still ain't got nothing going on at home, it ain't going to happen. It ain't going to happen. You might well go coach a high school. Uh, go, go, like, go coach somewhere, big dog. In the high school or middle school, some shit like that. You know what I'm saying? That shit ain't going to happen for you, big dog. It's over with. Because there's a lot of you fuck niggas. Because that shit's really the, the nigga diaspora. We need to get out that shit. You know what I'm saying? Niggas don't give a fuck about what's going on as far as, you know what I'm saying, like, you pose with my people, whatever like that, but I'm, hey, bro, shit, bro, I'm in that whole goddamn emo for this fuck up, bro, but shit, it's low, though, you know what I'm saying, my bond ain't number goddamn $300, it's gonna be $3,000, you know what I'm saying, but the bond company said that do it for $300, goddamn, shit, you think you uh, come on down here, shit, man, bro, I swear to God, bro, you, bro, you should've called me two days, I wasn't arrested two days ago. Bro, I'm saying like, I know you, no, I'm saying like, you just got there like, I would just, I know you got that, that money, you know what I'm saying, I ain't trying to, you know what I'm saying, but, you know what I'm saying, you were just in Atlantis, going ham, like you just do three, bro, I swear to God, bro, that, that's all I had, shit, bro, you wouldn't believe all these bills, bro, I'm talking for real, bro, 
I'm just trying, I gotta keep something down me, bro. I'm just like, whoo, bro, I'm tell you. And I, at that point, it's like, damn, so do I beg him or do I cuss him the fuck out? But when you're in a desperate situation, it's like, that's where we at right now. We're in a desperate situation. They're like, be home. Hey, man, you think you can, you know what I'm saying, help us out? Like, and that's that's what we've been doing by continuing to share all this shit that's going on, continuing to blast everything that's going on in the news. We've been blasting it everywhere, whatever, like that. Everybody been blasting it so y'all know what's going on. And for y'all to sit back like, shit, I'm just, I'm just focusing on next year. Yeah, you know, you know we, we trying to make it to next year. Nobody want to get no press conference from you, be home. Next year ain't about shit right now. Right now, we got a situation going on where they stripping niggas of shit. And see, that's, see, niggas will look on and see some shit happen to them. Like that, like this video going around with this, uh, this nigga that got fired from that, uh, the mechanic that got fired. Niggas, it's, it's niggas at that job. It's mechanics at that job that looked on, seen that shit, and put their head down. Act like they didn't see it. When the nigga said, man, this motherfucker just fired, they seen the whole shit. Man, that shit crazy, dog. That shit crazy. Them motherfuckers be tripping. Oh, there you go. Know what I'm saying? Because it's all for... I gotta keep my job. Shit. I gotta keep my job. Throw me a topic, bro. And, and this is where we at. Niggas ain't never gonna stand up. Niggas ain't never gonna stand up. So I don't believe them niggas gonna do it. I'm asking you niggas to do it. I don't think you niggas gonna do it. It, just, it is what it is. Big fat Paul can A.O. Canseco. See y'all in a minute. Make sure y'all hit that PayPal. Love, love. Fuck niggas.